will be discussing about diabetes mellitus and the importance of adherence to therapy adherence to the medications lifestyle modifications diet is very important in the management of diabetes common reasons for non adherence to the treatment is because of financial constraints or lack of knowledge or uh, simply you know taking things easy once the sugar levels are controlled people tend to relax and not take their medications on time it is very important that we adhere to the treatment the timing of taking the medicines is also important every day you should take the medicines at the fixed time whether it is in the morning afternoon or night with the meals and before or after as advised by the doctor the easy way of adherence to therapy is to keep a pill box and keep the morning afternoon and night doses of drugs in these boxes and take it along with the meals so that none of the medicines are skipped another way of remembering is to have a chart with uh, the medicines as well as keeping the blood sugar levels constantly monitored once in a week and noting down in the blood in the chart it is also important that we adhere not only to the medication but also to the diet plan as advised by the doctor or the dietitian reduce the intake of the saturated fats and high carbohydrate or high sugar content foods adherence to exercise uh, following a daily routine of exercise is very important in management of diabetes we will be discussing about the lifestyle modifications in diabetes it is very important that you manage and change your lifestyle if you are a pre diabetic or a diabetic patient it is very important to eat a balanced meal such as fresh fruits and vegetables whole grains and a low fat containing foods avoid uh, high saturated fat or high carbohydrate foods like tubers rice and uh, other fat containing food stuffs you can take lean meat like fish or lean pieces of chicken white of the egg proteins are also good in uh, the treatment and management of diabetes and whole grains nuts and uh, vegetables and fruits can be taken in the diet avoid fruits like mangoes bananas uh, supporters grapes and uh, custard apple which contain a high quantity of sugar but fruits like apples watermelon orange and papaya can be taken it is also important to take plenty of water and also to take uh, adequate quantities of uh, low fat containing foods and apart from the diet it is also important to have a healthy uh, exercise routine at least 30 to 45 minutes of exercise daily five to six times in a week is important in the management of diabetes as you are aware that muscle activity helps in burning of the sugars in the blood and reducing the sugar levels in the body let us discuss the complications of diabetes these are broadly classified as microvascular and macrovascular microvascular complications involve the small blood vessels especially affecting the eye and the kidney diabetic retinopathy is a leading cause of blindness in india and all over the world there is damage to the retinal blood vessels and there is presence of macular edema and gradual loss of vision in the eye leading to blindness so it is very important that yearly medical checkups for the eye are done with an ophthalmologist to detect the early complications of diabetes and take the necessary corrective measures it is important to keep the blood sugar as normal as possible that means 
a fasting blood sugar between 70 to 100 milligrams and a postprandial blood sugar less than 150 milligrams and a HbA1c less than 7%. So it is important to keep the blood sugar low to keep uh, to avoid the complications related to diabetic retinopathy. Coming to diabetic nephropathy again a tight sugar control helps in preventing damage to the kidneys. Along with this usage of medicines like ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers helps in preventing diabetic nephropathy. It is important to monitor the urine and the blood sugar levels periodically to detect early changes of diabetic nephropathy and take the corrective measures. The macrovascular complications of diabetes involve the larger blood vessels predominantly affecting the heart, the brain and the peripheral circulation. The coronary blood vessels are damaged by increased blood sugar levels which leads to a process known as atherosclerosis and this is further increased with the presence of hypertension and other cardiovascular risk factors like smoking, dyslipidemia, sedentary lifestyle, obesity, insulin resistance and so on. So it is uh, and this leads to a damage to the coronary blood vessels leading to deposition of fat, leading to blockage resulting in heart attacks and damage to the heart muscle leading to heart failure. So it is very important to control sugars, control the blood pressure, control the lipid levels and take the important drugs like ACE inhibitors aspirin, statins and beta blockers to prevent cardiovascular disease. The same applies to even the cerebral circulation and this helps in preventing strokes. Coming to peripheral vascular disease, it is again a very common complication of diabetes, reducing the blood flow to the especially the lower limb extremities uh, and the feet uh, get deprived of the blood supply leading to ulcer formation, gangrene and a diabetic foot. It is important to stop smoking if you are a smoker and control the blood sugars tightly to prevent diabetic complications. The important measures to prevent diabetic complications are one, have a healthy lifestyle, check your blood sugar levels regularly, periodically, every week, monitor the lab values of blood sugar at least once a month along with the HbA1c, try to keep the HbA1c less than 7 and monitor the blood pressure and keep the blood pressure also under tight control, avoid smoking and stop smoking if you are a smoker, reduce the quantity of alcohol, have a regular exercise pattern of 30 to 45 minutes every day, 5 to 6 times in a week, check your weight regularly and try to avoid becoming obese, maintain a body mass index of less than 25 and periodically eye examination to pre detect and prevent diabetic complications pertaining to the eye like diabetic retinopathy. Examine your feet every day and have a proper foot care by soaking your feet in warm salt water for 10 to 15 minutes every day, checking for any cuts, bruises and treating them immediately and try to walk and have a regular active schedule so that the diabetic complications can be prevented.